In this first tutorial we'll use Innovator for Business Analysts to create a simple BPMN workflow diagram uh, for a process for applying for a job. We're modeling our human resources department here and uh, we're just going to look at how our candidate applies for a job within our company. To start with we'll create a BPMN diagram. I'll select a package here and select new diagram and BPMN diagram and then I'm going to rename the diagram using the properties view down here on the right to apply for job. Now I'll add into the diagram from this palette in the top left hand corner our initial horizontal process, horizontal referring simply to the layout of the items within it and you'll notice that it's gone straight into rename mode and we'll set that name of that process to be apply for job and then just expand its width to fill the diagram as it is at the moment. So initially we're going to look just at the happy path, the uh, straightforward route through this process. So we'll start by uh, adding a start event and when an item is selected you'll often see to the right of it uh, some bubbles which allow us to create additional items. If I click and drag the uh, button for sequence flow when I let go I'm prompted to create an event task gateway or sub process and we'll add a first task here which is to create application. This is the application for a post and then from that there's an additional workflow coming out to another task which is to submit the application. Remember this is all in the context of the applicant or candidate for a post. Now assuming this is the happy path, the result of me sending in my application is that I'll be called for an interview, uh, which I'll then subsequently attend. And then I'll receive an offer of a position within the company, which I'll review. before accepting which requires me to send in uh, some acceptance forms and then finally at the end of that process uh, we have our end event which is that the offer has been accepted. That's our initial happy path, our simple route through the process of applying for a job. Um, I'll just zoom out of this diagram a little, which I can do using the wheel on my mouse, or I can use F9 with various other key uh, combinations to zoom in and out. Um, and what I want to do is I want to just align all these symbols all across the diagram. Now you'll notice that there are no scroll bars, and that's because I move around the diagram by just clicking on the background of the diagram and dragging it. So in order to multi-select these items I need to hold down the control key which I'm doing now and then just drag a box around those items and then I can align them horizontally. So there's our initial process, create application, submit application, attend interview, review offer, submit acceptance forms which leads us to the end event of the offer being accepted. What I need to do now is to uh, iterate over this process again, maybe several times, to identify the points at which the flow uh, changes and goes in a different direction. The first point for this is almost certainly after me submit or after the candidate submitting application uh, as to whether the uh, human resources department choose to call them for an interview or not. So we need to add in here a gateway which will give us that split. I'll just zoom out a little bit more drag the diagram up to the left and extend this box for apply for job. I want to add some space in here which I can do very easily by right clicking and then dragging to the right which moves everything across. That means I can then drag a gateway from the palette and when it's over the sequence flow and the sequence flow turns blue I can drop that in there and it simply redirects the lines into and out of the gateway. I'm going to name that gateway uh, so it's clear what decision is being taken here, called for interview. And the flow that we already had uh, is our yes path and we're going to create a new flow uh, for no which will result in an event, an end event of application rejected. 
which we'll just name in the properties window here. And we need to name those, or rather add conditions to those flows now so it's clear what's going on. Uh, the new flow we've added is for the no condition, and the existing one was yes, called for interview. And just move that label down below to make that a little clearer. We have a similar gateway we need to add in following the interview as to whether or not uh, the applicant has been offered a position in the company. So again, we can drag our gateway in when the line turns blue, drop it, and uh, we'll set the name of the gateway there. Interview successful. And if it isn't, in fact, we can route directly into that existing end event of application rejected. Again, we'll set the condition on that sequence flow and on the other one to yes. And I'll just move that end event across to the right where it'll be a little clearer because all the flow is in the uh, left to right direction then, which is sometimes clearer to understand than if you've got flows going in the opposite direction. We need to add in uh, one more gateway here. Uh, following uh, the receipt of the offer from the company, uh, we'll, the uh, applicant will review the offer and then they decide whether or not to accept it. So again, if I just right click and drag to the right, and then we'll drag in a new gateway. And the name of this gateway is accept offer, question mark. And if we choose to ex reject the offer, that's our end event here of offer rejected. And again, we set the conditions on the sequence flows to yes and no as appropriate. Now it may be that in fact there's some, an, uh, an additional task that needs to be carried out here. Uh, if I choose to reject the offer, it isn't just that the offer is rejected but actually uh, some uh, a message needs to be sent back to the Human Resources Department to tell them that. So I need to add a task in here, which I can do in the same way as we've been adding our gateways. I can drag a task from the palette onto the existing uh, sequence flow there. Just drag to uh, rearrange things a little. And then if I select the task and hit F2, it'll put it into rename mode, and then I can just type the name of the task, reject offer. That pretty much then gives us our uh, initial couple of iterations over this process. Uh, as we look through it from the start event, the applicant creates the application, submits the application. Uh, if they're not called for interview, then the process ends with the application rejected. If they are, they will attend the interview. If the interview is not successful, again, the process ends with the application being rejected. If the interview is successful, uh, they'll receive an offer which they'll review. Uh, should they choose to reject that offer, there's an activity to allow us or allow the applicant to send that rejection notice back to the HR department and the offer is rejected. If, however, they choose to accept the offer, then they'll submit acceptance forms and the process will end with offer accepted. In, uh, in a later tutorial, we'll look at how uh, this self-contained process of applying for a job in terms of the candidate or the applicant actually has a collaboration with the Human Resources Department, which we'll model in a BPMN collaboration diagram.